as you can see, between videos, I did some work on my header. I've got kind of a cheesy look going on here that I like to call Spaghetti Western. Now, uh, moving on beyond the menu settings control group, we have the menu items control group. And this is where we control the labels and target hyperlinks for our site menu. Uh, by default, the menus are set up to work in tandem with TTG pages. And so let's take a look at a published gallery that's already online. Um, as you can see, the menus are exactly the same, uh, content-wise anyway. You've got home, gallery index, about, and contact on this page as well. So I have not changed the label, nor have I changed the hyperlink target. I've left this completely alone. And when I click them, you can see that uh, it takes me to the corresponding pages on my TTG Pages installation. So, if you're using TTG Pages, you really don't have to do anything at all uh, to set up your menu. It's already done for you and it's ready to go. Um, but if you're not using TTG Pages and you'd like to go ahead and customize your menu, or if you are using TTG Pages but you're adding additional items like a second auto index or uh, additional pages, etc., uh, you might want to add menu items, change menu items, uh, and so on. So the way that we do that is pretty easy. Each menu item has a checkbox that turns it off or on. So as you can see, menu item number one is now turned on. If I want that to disappear, I untick the box and it goes away. I no longer have a home link. So let's bring that back. I'm going to move down to menu item number two, which is our gallery index link. Again, I can turn that off, and or, off or on using the, uh, the menu item two checkbox. Uh, if I want to change the label, maybe I don't want this to be gallery index. I'm a photographer and that just sounds too technical. I want that to be portfolio. So I just go ahead and click in that text field and I change that to portfolio. Um, if I wanted to change the hyperlink, I would use the web or mail link here and I would change that. But I'm not going to because I want to leave the gallery index intact. Instead, let's come down to our contact link and work with that a little bit. So by default, it's set up as a relative URL. Uh, menu items in TTG High Slide Gallery Pro support three different types of address. You have your relative addresses, your absolute addresses, and your email links. So uh, by default, it's a relative URL which if we look at it, it's dot dot slash dot dot slash contact dot html. And what that's telling it is that no matter what the domain name or location, whether it's online or on our desktop, the way that we're going to reach the contact page is to take two steps back and then hit this file name. So dot dot slash tells it to step back one folder in the folder hierarchy. Now if this sounds confusing to you, that's okay. If you want to do some research online for uh, how to write relative URLs, there are lots of tutorials available. Or you can do it the easy way, which is to use absolute URLs. So generally, you're going to know uh, the domain name of the website you're building. So let's say, my name is Matthew Campagna. My website for photography is matthewcampagna.com. So if I want to change this from a relative URL and do something easier, I could make this an absolute URL because I know that my contact page is going to be located at http colon slash slash and that's very important so make sure that when you're writing an absolute URL you write http so again http colon slash slash www.matthewcompagna.com slash contact dot html so that is now an absolute address uh, that leads to my contact page. So you might use this, for example, if you wanted to set up a blog at a separate location. Um, so you've got your, your contact link, your about link, your portfolio, your home link, and they're all set to go for you by default, but you want to add a blog. So let's enable menu item number four, add text for the label, so make that blog, 
and then for the hyperlink we're going to set that to our blog location so maybe you're using uh, blogger.com or wordpress.com or squarespace or maybe you have a wordpress blog installed at your own domain name whatever the case you're just going to go ahead and put in the full address to your blog in this menu item so I'm going to say mine is http colon slash slash lr.theturninggate.net and now I have a link that's going to take you to the front page of the turning gate which is a blog. The third type of link that this supports is uh, the email link. So maybe you don't want to use a contact page, maybe you want the contact link just to open up you know, your, uh, your visitor's email. So to write an email link is pretty easy. You just go down to web or mail link and we type in mail to no spaces, just mail to, M-A-I-L-T-O, colon, and then the email address. Again, no spaces. So mail to, colon, and then your email address. So you at yourcompany.com. And now, anytime someone clicks the contact link, it will just open up their default mail program. So those are the menu items. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to set up uh, a site menu for your gallery.